Welcome to today's workout. Coral's gonna be helping us out with a 20 minute metabolic workout. We're gonna start off with two minute warm up, doing each exercise for 20 seconds. We're gonna start off with a nice easy run in place. Here we go. Run in place. We have six exercises here. We're just doing a quick warm up since, you, since it is a pretty quick workout. Even though it's quick, we're still doing a lot of exercises. We wanna transition as quickly as we can through each one. Five more seconds here, we're going up downs. Three. Two, let's tap those toes, big jump in the air. We'll have her jump for half of them and then we'll do the up downs without the jump in a little bit. Five more seconds. We'll go to just tapping and driving. All right, tap the toes, big jump in the air. This is just a slight up down modification if you can't do any jumps in the air yet. There we go. Still keeping a slight bend on those knees and then a fully extension up there, really stretching everything out. Last one here, three. Two, all right, let's come to high knees in place for 20 seconds. High knee it up, there we go. We'll have her march it out for the halfway point. Just a slight modification for the high knee. Ready, all right, march it out the rest of the way. So if you can't do that really intense high knee, go ahead and just go to marching. Or you can even go in the middle to back to a run in place if you can jog a little bit. Couple more, three, two, all right, let's go to squat position now. Full squats, focusing on driving those hips really far back. Keep the weight through the heels. Good job. Upper body staying strong, back is straight. No rounded in the shoulders, driving those the hips really far back. There we go. We just have a couple more exercises for this quick warm up. One more squat after that one. And let's go ahead and go down to push up position. There we go. So if you can do a few on your toes, start on the toes. As soon as you feel your body start compensating, you need to drop to those knees. There we go. Without jutting the head forward, you want to lead with the chest. Keep the core strong so there's no lower back swaying. There we go. Getting a good pace. Chest going forward. Really strong in the middle. Let's go for five more seconds. We're going to finish off our warm up with some high knees. Last one. All right, let's bring it on up. High knees in place. Here we go. There we go, there we go. Good, good, good. At five to go, we're gonna go to just a run in place right in the middle. Three, two, all right, just kind of run it in place. So if you can't do the high knees and you wanna go a little bit more intense than the march, just keep, keep running a little bit. There you go. Get them up, get them up. Five more seconds. Almost got it. Three, two, great little warm up there. Quick 30 second break, coming back for circuit number one. All right, y'all, we have circuit number one. We're starting off with alternating reverse lunges, taking a really big step back, keep the weight through the front heel. There we go. Awesome. Most of the focus should be on that front leg, okay? So all the weight's going through that front heel. Notice how Coral's knee is staying right at 90 degrees, just keeping a good, strong upper body posture, not leaning forward at all. Her knee's not going over the toes. There we go. A few more good ones. Good job, good job. We have five more seconds. We're going down to push-up position. One more lunge on that right leg. All right, let's go down. We're going to do one push-up and then lift the right arm. One push-up and then lift the left arm. Here we go. There we go. So we're starting on the toes here, going right to the knees. Good job. Notice how she's still keeping the same push-up form. We're just adding an arm lift, which just adds a, a core component to these push-ups. There we go, keeping the chest forward, lifting them up. Five more seconds, couple more. There we go, let's do one more and then bring it up. All right, plie squat position and we're gonna go right into a pulse, pulsing it down. There we go, sitting through your heels, keeping a good strong upper body. There we go. Notice how she's staying about slightly below parallel. It's an ideal spot to pulse these squats. Getting low, getting low. Almost got it, we got five more seconds. We're dropping down to plank position. Gonna do some core work. Three, two, all right, plank position. We're gonna do plank punches. 
So let's go to the forearm for the plank, and we're going to fully extend that arm. There you go. Good. Notice as she picks her arm up, her back is staying completely straight and parallel. If you can, do a few of these on your toes first, and then go to your knees. If you need to, you can do them all on your knees. Eventually, you'll be able to do some on your toes. There we go. Completely, fully extending that arm for you, so you can work the core. All that fully extension from the lower to the upper. A couple more now. There we go. Three. Two, all right, that's round number one. We're coming back up, starting with alternate reverse lunges. We're just doing two sets, so this is the last set. There we go, big step back there, good strong upper body. There we go. If you're having any balance and stability problems, get close to a wall, just hold on to something sturdy, you'll notice a big difference. Remember, it's very important to do these exercises really well. Good job, good job. Getting a big step back there. We got five more seconds. Going for 30 seconds on these. Ready? Three, two. All right, let's go down to push up position. We got the alternating arm lift in between your push ups. One push up, lift and right. There we go. Lift and left. Nice. Leading with that chest. There we go. Keep a good rhythm now, core staying in strong. She's finding her pace to make sure that she's not compensating at all. We're going for a couple more here. Last one, three, two, all right, let's come on up. We're going to plie squat position right into a pulse. Pulsing for 20 seconds. 20 seconds isn't very long. When you're pulsing, it might seem like a longer time, but you just gotta know that it'll be done soon, so try to go as low as you can. All the weights driving through those heels. There we go, there we go. Just five more seconds, you can do it. Almost there, three, two, plank position. We're punching him out. There we go, fully extending those arms. Keep a really solid core here when you fully extend that arm, completely fully extending the body. No shoulders rounding. Core engaged in tight with that belly button in. There we go. Few more good ones, five more seconds. We're bringing it up for high knees. And three, two, all right, let's high knee it up for 20 seconds. There we go, getting those legs up high. Of course, you can run it in place if you need to. You can march it if you need to. There we go, here we go. Halfway point, we got 10 more seconds. There we go. Getting them up there, getting them up there. Good, good, good. Last five to go. Almost there, a little bit, three. Two, all right, rest for 30 seconds, coming back for circuit number two. All right, y'all, we're here for circuit number two. We're going to start off in the split stance position. We're doing split stance squats. This is like a stationary lunge. So you'll take one big step back and squat up and down. There we go. So all you're doing is doing a full split stance squat, just dropping the knee straight down to the ground, keeping that front leg straight at 90 degrees. This one does require a good amount of balance and stability. So you're going to be working some stabilizer muscles. So if those are weak on you, you're going to have some problems doing this exercise. So if you, <laughs> that was a fluke. And so you want to get close to a wall, something sturdy to hold on to. Last one here, three, two, all right, let's switch legs. If you have a stability problem every other, every, you know, five or six reps, it's not a big deal. It's if you start off and you're already having problems and get close to a wall to do these exercises. There we go. Always focusing on keeping good, strong form the entire time. You're, you'll get stronger and improve a lot quicker. We can do everything really well. There we go. A couple more. Got it. Three, two. All right, let's go down to twisting mountain climbers now. So you're going to do regular mountain climber position. All you're going to do is take your knee to your opposite wrist, still keeping the body at very similar position. There will be a little twist at the hip area just to add a little oblique component. So just taking that knee towards your opposite wrist. There we go. Keeping that body still as parallel with the ground as you can. 
Good job, good job. Five more seconds here. Ready? Three, two, let's bring it back up. We're going back to split stance position. This time you're going to pulse it down. So you're doing one good rep. Stay as close to the ground as you can, usually about two inches. That's where your, your knee will be close to the ground, about two inches. And just pulse the weight through your front heel. Really keeping that inner thigh tight on your front leg. Three, two, let's switch it up. We're just going for 15 seconds on each leg. It's a tough exercise, so you don't want to go for too long unless you can, of course. But 15 seconds is a good amount of time. Let's get low, let's get low. Get that knee as close to the ground as you can. Five more seconds. We have one more exercise. Down low. Three, two, all right. Push up position. We're adding two, we're doing two exercises in one. One push up. Good. Come to the toes if you can for the climbers or stay on your knees. There we go. So first you do a good push up, leading with your chest. There we go. Come into the toes for the climbers. Perfect. Go ahead and do one on the knees now with the climbers. Boom. Got it. So if you can't come to your toes after your push-up to do a regular mountain climber, just do the climber on your knees. Either way, focus on each exercise independently. Get a good push-up and then get a good climber on each side. Let's go ahead and do one more now. There we go. And all right, bring it on up. Split stance position, full squat up and down. Big step back, drop that knee straight down and up. There we go. Good, good, good. Focus on that front leg, keeping it around 90 degrees. Really important that all the weight goes through the heel there. There we go, there we go. Notice how that posture on her is staying really strong, upright. Five more seconds, couple more good split stance squats. Last one, and all right, go ahead and switch legs. Big step back, straight down through the heel. There we go. Dropping that back knee straight to the ground. Keep that posture upright and strong. Good. Good, good, good. If you notice your front foot start moving side to side, just really tighten up your inner thigh and focus on keeping the weight through the front heel. Five more seconds. One more squat. And let's drop down. Mountain climber position. Remember, we're twisting now. Right to left, left to right. If you need to drop to your knees on this, you, it's going to be kind of awkward to twist. You can try to twist a little bit. If it feels too awkward for you, just do regular mountain climbers, out wide right, out wide left. There we go. Good, good, good. A couple of different variations. Coral's giving you. We're going for five more seconds. There we go. Three, two, all right. Time for our split stance pulses. One big step back, one good squat down. And then stay as low as you can. Get that back knee close to the ground. Remember, about two inches is a good spot. Making sure the weight staying through your front heel. Your posture is completely upright. You don't want to let your upper body go too far forward because then you're going to push the weight towards your toes. And three, two, let's switch it up. And if you push your weight too much towards the front, it's going to become very quad dominant exercise where you want to try to even out the motion on your hamstrings, your quads, and your glutes. All right, so everything's through that front heel. There we go. Let's keep it low, keep it low, keep it low. Almost got it. A little bit lower. Last five to go. We're going to push up, climber, climber. Three, two, all right, let's drop it down. One push up, climber right, climber left. There we go. Good pace, good pace. One good push up, climbing it out there. So not only are we doing a good upper body push up exercise, we're adding a core component now, especially if you're, when you're able to come to your toes, you're gonna notice a big difference. There we go. This will be your last one, they're gonna bring it up. And boom, let's bring it on up. High knees in place, and you get a little break. There we go, throwing those shoulders back, staying light on the feet, getting them up there, getting them up there. Stay strong in the middle, almost got it. Getting them up, getting them up, running in place or march it if you need to. Five more seconds, there we go, there we go. Three, two, great round y'all, great circuit. We got 30 second break, circuit number three coming right up.
All right, y'all, it's time for circuit number three. We're going to start off with alternating reverse lunges. We're going to add some split stance pulses in between here. So let's go ahead and start it off. Alternate reverse lunge. Big step back. There we go. Drop down through the front heel. There we go. Really big step back, keeping those shoulders back strong. There we go. Got it, got it. Focusing on front leg, driving through that front heel. Good, so we're gonna rep it out for 10 more seconds and we're gonna leave one leg back there. I'll let you know when. We got five more seconds. There we go. All right, on this lunge, go ahead and leave that toe back and now pulse your split stance. We're just gonna pulse for 10 seconds, all right? So just go in four, five more, get as low as you can. There we go, three, two, let's switch legs. Just 10 seconds on this side and we're gonna drop it down. There we go, there we go. Front heel, notice how that lower body's standing, about 90 degrees all around. Three, two, push-up position. We're gonna rep out push-ups, and then we're gonna pulse it to finish it off. There we go. Chest going completely forward. Getting a, she's got a good rhythm going, leading with the chest, keeping that upper body strong. There we go, there we go. Let's go for five more seconds. We're gonna go right into a pulse push-up now. Three. Two, let's pulse it out for 10 seconds, as low as you can. Remember that halfway point's ideal for this. A little bit higher than that's okay too. All right, five more to go. There we go, there we go. Three, two, let's pop it up. Plie squat position, it's the last exercise for the round. Pulsing it out, there we go. 20 seconds of pulses. Remember, getting those hips really far back, just like Coral's doing, all of her weights driving through the heels. Upper body strong, completely straight with that Spine, there we go, core's in tight. We're going for five more seconds. Here we go, here we go, three, two, awesome. First exercise now, alternate reverse lunges. Gonna really feel your legs on this circuit. Just keep a good pace, try and go as hard as you can. Workout's coming to an end. We have only one more break before our burnout. There we go, big step back, sitting through those front heels, there we go. Good, good, good. Just keep that pace going. If there's any balance or stability problems, get close to that wall. Don't hesitate to do that. One more lunge, we'll go ahead and leave it back there. All right, pulsing it down just for 10 seconds. There we go. Try to focus on that front heel, 90 degrees. There we go, and three, two, switching legs. Those 10 seconds go by quick. It feels like a long time when you're doing it though. Drop it straight down, knees close to the ground. There we go, there we go. Staying as low as you can, a little bit longer. Three, two, awesome. Push up position. There we go. Fully extending that body. Good. Long and lean body, meaning your shoulders are back strong. Your spine is as long as you can keep it. So you're leading with your chest. Your head's not jutting forward. There we go. Keep on repping those push ups. We're going for five more seconds. We're going to finish off with a pulse. Three. Two, let's pulse it down now, about halfway point, shoulders back strong, tighten up in the middle, there we go. Drop it down, drop it down, five more seconds. Good, 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 three, two, let's pop it up. We've got plie squat pulses, high knees and a break. You can do it, let's get as low as you can. Keep all the weight through those heels, there we go. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna have her come up a little bit now so you can see the pulses just slightly modified. Still doing a good squat with a pulse, keeping the weight through the heels back there. There we go, there we go. Five more seconds, finish off with some high knees. Ready, three, two, awesome. Let's high knee it up for 20 seconds. Try to go the whole time if you can with the high knees. If you need to switch to run in place, go ahead. Of course, if you need to march it out, you can do that too. There we go, there we go. It's halfway now, finish it off. Getting them up, getting them up, getting them up. Last five seconds. There we go, there we go. Three, two, awesome circuit. 30 second break, coming back for our burnout.
All right, y'all, it's time for the metabolic burnout. We got three exercises, 20 seconds each, We're going for three sets. We're starting off with the plie squat pulses for 20 seconds. Here we go. Getting those hips way back, sitting through the heels. There we go. So it's the last circuit. Try to go as hard as you can, low as you can for the squats. Still keeping good form. Quick transition through the three exercises. Five more seconds. Going down to twisty mountain climbers. Three, two. All right, let's drop it on down. Hands and toes, right to left, left to right. There we go. Let's keep that body as parallel to the ground as we can. Fully extending it out, lengthening out that body. There we go. Halfway point. Focusing on the core muscles. There we go, there we go. Five more seconds. Pop it on up. Ready, ready, ready. Three, two. All right, high knee it up. That'll finish off round number one. We're going to go the whole time with the high knees. If you need to, of course, you can go to running in place. Just try to keep good movement throughout this halfway point. Come on. Get them up, get them up, get them up. There we go, there we go. Last five seconds. We're going back down to pulses. Three. Two, plie squat position, right into a pulse. Round number two, let's get as low as you can. Get him back there, get him back there. Good, strong upper body, sitting through the heels. There we go, there we go. She's way below parallel. If you can get there, go ahead and get there with us. Drop it down, drop it down. Last five to go. Keeping it low, three, two, got it. Twisty mountain climbers, chest over those thumbs. Good job, good job. Keep that body as parallel as you can. Completely long and lean. <clears throat> there we go, there we go. Twisting them, twisting them. Right to left, left to right. There you go. Good, good, good. Last five to go. Couple more, couple more. Three, two. Let's bring it up. High knees in place to finish off round number two. One more round after this one. There we go, there we go. Light on those feet. Getting those shoulders back strong. Good, 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 good. Almost there. Going for five more seconds. Plie squat pulses. Three, two. All right, last round, y'all. Here we go. Let's pulse that plie squat. Getting way back through those heels. There we go. Good, strong upper body. Completely straight. Core engaged. Driving them back there. There we go, there we go. Getting as low as you can. If you need to come up a little bit, that's okay. Five more seconds. Good, good, good. Three. Two twisting mountain climbers. One more set here. Try to keep the chest close to over those thumbs. That helps keep the body completely parallel with the ground. There we go, there we go. Twisting them out. Keep that core strong. Let's go for five more seconds. Finishing off with our high knees. Ready? Three, two. Awesome. Go ahead and pop it on up. High knees in place. Here we go. Get them up there. Light on the feet, throw those shoulders back strong. Try to go the whole time here if you've been running in place or marching. There we go, there we go. Getting them up, get them up. Halfway point, y'all. Finish it all the way through, all the way through. Let that heart rate go up. Last five to go. Almost there. Three, two, awesome job. Workout is done. Thanks for working out. We'll see you for the next workout. Thanks.